here's the lineup that Orlando's put together. When you win 5 nothing, you don't make changes. No, you don't. And they're completely unchanged. I think, obviously, we pinpointed Messiah Bro. No, Kaylee Rue, I think, definitely deserves that opportunity. I love the fact Casey Stone is finding a way to get her best players into this lineup. That's what the best coaches do. I find your lack of faith disturbing, the game note says, about <laughs> No, Orlando in Casey Stoney, I trust. Don't worry about that. In indeed. 0-2-1 and one in a short history between the two. Marta powering through midfield and leading through Doyle. Doyle off the post and ricochets toward the corner flag. And we can see it here, you know, Marta picking up the ball, doing a little nice little drag back. Great way to pass, makes it look simple. Bill picks up the ball, takes it really well, but has to go across Caden Sheridan. You know, Caden Sheridan's got a near post covered there. Does fantastically well to do so, but Doyle just has to go across goal. She narrows the angle by going near post. Doyle has been on fire of late. Lines up Westfall. Titch of support away from Marta and out to the halfway line. She's got a fantastic delivery. When she picks up the ball in these areas, the diagonal ball that she can switch is absolutely brilliant. She can play vertically too. Hill on the run. Former Pride player whipping the cross. Morgan settles. And this shot whistles wide of the post. The home to Brazilians in the NWSL. Orlando, she said upon signing. Morehouse trying to get there. Hill took it away. Morehouse able to get a foot to it and deflect it out. More composure in front of the goal. But Orlando Pride can't be doing that in the back line. Corner for San Diego. Skims over, ball deflects to the penalty spot off the crossbar and in. That is an incredible goal for Dole Kemper. Simply remarkable for the Waves, grabbing the lead on the road. I'm so happy for Abby Dole Kemper. She's been out for so long. She really is. It's a fantastic ball into the box from Shaw and ends up falling to Abby Dolkamper and it's a great finish. What a goal. What a goal. And it's a great touch to chest it down. This is a fantastic strike. Fantastic strike. And it's been a good game. You know, it's still early in the game, but it's been a really good end-to-end -end stuff. And that is such a great finish from Abby Dolkamper. Bright lost it. Hill was in pursuit. Set up for a bellow. Adriana. Adriana went for goal. Short hops into the grasp of Sheridan. Year one of a three-year deal for Adriana and has very much looked the part of a uh, player that could generationally change Orlando. There's a handful of their players, Marta reaching the, the tail end of, of her career. Both these teams are coming off the back of two really good wins. San Diego obviously beating Gotham. At Gotham. And in Orlando, you know, winning 5-0 against the Chicago Red Stars. Nobody saw that one coming. All thrust away from Bright. It is 15 degrees warmer in Orlando tonight than it is in San Diego by comparison. Back pass is met by Marta. Marta strides forward, work for goal at Sheridan. <laughs> but she's a top person, top player, top coach. And at Chelsea, we had some moments that weren't great. But there was never a moment where we went nine games. And I think those are the moments when you have to dig deep, find the confidence for the team, remain focused. It's difficult when you go to the training ground. There's a different buzz around the training ground and the facility when you win. And when you win, everything's great. It's when you lose, you realize the true character of your team and the individuals and who can dig out, dig them out of those moments. Adriana causes Sheridan into a save. Played through Morgan, circulates back, and struck on a line that's met by Morehouse. Strom central, reversed by Villacorta, it's Hoffa Eli. Lops long for Adriana. The Brazilians hard at work. Adriana sets up right. The flex, Bright trying to win it back, play on, and wasn't able to navigate through. Struck by Villacorta and blocked by the wave. Good play again 
from Adriana down the left-hand side. The only critique I would have is maybe the ball into Messiah Bright needed to be a little bit stronger so she could hit it the first time because it made Messiah Bright have to take a touch. But San Diego Wave closed her down really well. They know how much of a threat Messiah Bright is for this team, so they're going to get out to her really, really quickly. Marta trailed by Doherty Howard. Marta continues, swings the cross. Adriana snaps it home. Marta just put San Diego in the mixer. And Adriana the finish. It's 1-1. Absolutely brilliant play from Marta. We can see here again, brilliant play from Marta. Nice little ball down the channel. You can see here, nobody really gets tight enough to her, but it's Marta. Some players you just can't defend. Look at that type of trickery. Fantastic ball into the box. Brilliant ball, but the marking here from the San Diego Wave, there's four players around. You know, you've got Abidal Camper, Kristen Westphal. You've got Shaw as well there. Someone has to pick her up. And it's a great header in the end. Shaw. Spinning Listro. Offering a cross for Doniak. Settles to Morgan. Morgan deflected by Morehouse and cleared off the doorstep. The flag had gone up in the midst of all that. Crowd roars. Referee didn't see it. VAR is always watching. And a foul from Bright. And a card to go with it. That's the first issued tonight. Got 22 minutes in the win against Gotham last week. And comes in for a more extended spell now, replacing Shaw. In the last game as well, in her first game, I think we could see her come into the game pretty soon. San Diego into the final third. Slash through with Doniak in mind. Run out is on once again. Adriana leads the charge. Bright, Doyle, and Marta flanking. Adriana pushed away. Clough arrives. Contemplative. Now it's McCutcheon! It doesn't quite get hold of it. It was almost like she thought about shooting, then she thought about it in the end. Not a bad effort. We can see she cuts at the ball, which makes it go over. Corner through, rising header! San Diego ahead again! Carusa! First in the league, and right on time for San Diego! What a header. Fantastic header from Caruso. I said this could cause some problems. A good delivery. Fantastic ball in from Mackenzie Doniak. And Caruso, great header, gets up nice and high. It's interesting because she's a substitute. Maybe somebody doesn't know who's supposed to be picking her up because it looks like she's got a free run. Lara Kett's come into this game as well. Maybe she was supposed to be marking her, taking nothing away from the goal. Fantastic header. Caruso gets up nice and high. Absolutely brilliant. Adriana, can Orlando pull level again? Sweeps into the penalty area, sets up McCutcheon. McCutcheon! Oh, Sheridan! Holds on to the lead. Brilliant save from Kaylin Sheridan. You could see it was going top corner. McCutcheon gets hot. You speak about the substitutes, Mike, that come off the bench and the score. That leads me to believe that Casey Stoney is being open and honest about communication. Because keeping everybody happy, it's not easy to do. When you're on the bench, you want to play every minute of every game. But obviously, ultimately, 11 can only start the game. Might this be a picturesque moment for Marta and Orlando? Another corner. In for the back post. Hop Alley crossing right into the waiting hands of Sheridan. And there was a nasty collision. All ball play on. Morgan sends it downfield. And that's full time. San Diego, their first win against Orlando. Catapult to second in the league.